This week we look at recovery nutrition, underrated by most trainers, but one of the most important things you must do to build maximum muscle mass. As many trainers know, you've got a short window of time after every workout, about 30 to 60 minutes, when your muscles are hypersensitive to nutrient uptake. They will absorb proteins, carbs and other nutrients up to six times faster. But after about an hour, when your muscles cool down, your metabolism goes back to normal. If you can get the right nutrient mix into your muscles right after training, you will maximise your recovery. To take advantage of this post-workout window, Maxis have developed a cutting-edge new product called Cell Repair. In developing Cell Repair, we looked at how to nutritionally counteract all the negative responses your body generates to the stresses of hard training, so you can recover faster, more fully, and grow maximum muscle between each workout. Cell Repair is made up of seven nutritional systems. The first thing cell repair does is to activate your body's natural anabolic storage hormone, insulin. After a hard workout, insulin is vital. It acts as a catalyst to force your muscle cells to absorb nutrients at a highly accelerated rate. Cell repair actually stimulates insulin with a unique carb combination of waxy may starch and dextrose. Both of these carbs have a very high glycemic index. In particular, waxy may starch is extremely fast absorbing as its molecular structure allows it to flow straight through your stomach and into your small intestine where it is rapidly absorbed. Next are the growth signaling amino acids. We've included branch chain amino acids, taurine, arginine and glutamine. They literally turn on cell replication, causing muscle tissue to get bigger and stronger. Cortisol is a compound your body produces in response to stress. Its role is to stimulate the breakdown of muscle tissue to provide fuel for your organs and brain. While this is good in some situations, for bodybuilders it's bad and actually robs you of muscle. Cell Repair contains cortisol blocking nutrients to stop tissue breakdown and stimulate muscle growth. Cell Repair also includes a powerful antioxidant system to combat free radicals generated by exercise immune enhancing peptides to keep you healthy while training with maximum intensity, and inflammation reducing compounds to reduce muscle and joint soreness and keep you injury free. It's the ideal formula you should be using after every workout, training or sport. So remember, to build maximum muscle, you simply have to include a plan for recovery, both with rest and appropriate nutrition. When you use the right products and start to see amazing results, don't thank me, just thank the science. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Professor. Well, everyone wants to get leaner. Whether you're going on holidays, you're coming into summer, you're facing a bit of warm weather, you want to go to the beach, we all want to get a bit leaner and a bit tighter. I'm here with Alastair White today, who's always lean, and we're going to show you some tricks to get that body you want. Today, we're going to combine exercises. We're going to do them in groups of two, and we'll go from set to set to set to set non-stop. We've got five different groups of two, so 10 exercises all together. This workout will only take you about 35, 40 minutes, guaranteed to get your heart rate going, guaranteed to get your metabolism kicking, guaranteed to get you lean. This is a workout that you can do in any gym, you can do it at home, you can do it when you're on holidays. It's easy to achieve and you don't need to complicate it. We're starting off with a bench press. 12 reps, Al, let's go. Nice and quick off your chest, down slow, up hard. Three, four, nine, 10, 11, 12. Rack it, Al. Now you can do this yourself, but soon I'm here with Al, I'm gonna give him a hand. We're gonna lift the bar straight off and go into a bend over row. So as soon as you start, stick your bum out, get your back nice and flat, touch it down, there you go. Up to your chest, up to your chest. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Right. The trick with this, folks, is not to have much rest. He had zero rest between the bench press and the bent over row. We're gonna give him just 30 seconds now to recover, and he's gotta go again. Okay, he's had 30 seconds rest. Let's go again, Al. 15 this time. Now we're going to mix the reps up with this one today, folks. Nothing you've seen before, something a little bit different. 14, 15. Well done, Al. Bent over row again, 15 reps. With this one, folks, you've got to get nice achievable weight. Three, four, 13, 14, 15. This one's called a dumbbell squat, folks. It's a cross between a deadlift and a squat. So you've got to go right down, touch the ground, keep your back straight, keep your arms straight. Your arms are just levers. Shoulders back, there we go, five, nine, ten. Relax. Now straight onto the ground, Al, we're going to do some knee skids. This is for your abdominals. We're going to work your legs and abs together. Knees bent, hands straight on your legs, bring your heels back a bit, that's it, and come up to where my hands are. Go, one, 
two. We call this a knee skid because you've got to keep your hands on your legs and do a skid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flexing the abs every time. 30 seconds rest and we go again. While I was having a rest, I'll explain a bit of theory. We're trying to push the blood around the body, combining the legs with the abs, takes the strain off the upper body, allows that to recover because we're coming back to upper body in a minute. So this way we get all the blood down into the legs, into the abs, we get the core working, get everything set up for the next series of exercises. Our third series of exercise is a bit of a tricky one. Don't try this at home without some instruction. If you do, start light, work on your form, and remember good posture all the time. The clean and press is one exercise that uses every single muscle in the body. Fantastic exercise, gets your metabolism going, gets you pumped, and makes you strong and fast. Used in sports all over the world to build speed and power. So it's a great exercise to learn. Everyone should try it. Let's go, Al. You see with this, it's all about speed. When he gets the bar up to his chest, it's snap. So it's a very quick movement. Catch, press, down. Catch, press, and down. Now this will really make you blow because you're using every muscle in your body. Three. Nine. Come on, three to go. Ten. So his posture's good all the time. His back straight, his chest out. He's looking straight ahead, not looking at the floor. Bang, great set. Now that'll really make you blow, folks. So start light with it, even just with a barbell to get it going. Hands back, L, fold up, touch and unfold, 12 times. Expands your rib cage, stretches out your lats, gives you a bit of flexibility. And once again, it's a speed sort of one. So we, we like to do this with a clean and press because it's a powerful way to do your abs. Nine, 10, two to go, 11 and 12. We're going to do an exercise I don't think we've ever done on Muscle TV, folks. It's one of my old-time favourites. You can do this anywhere. This is a body weight version of a line tricep extension. Now, Al's never done these, so we're really going to show you on Muscle TV how to get your form right from the start. I'm going to coach him through it, and we're going to do 12 reps. Let's go, Al. You just want to have your body nice and straight. Now, the trick is to go in under the bar as deep as you can, turn your elbows in as you go, just do, do a rough one, and back you go. Not bad, but I'd like you to turn your elbows in more. Okay, let's go. Now check out that folks, when you get to here, it's a full range of motion, more so than a barbell tricep extension because you're getting in behind your head. Go right in under the, right in under the bar. Oh, he's struggling already, come on Al. Seven, one to go, we'll make them tens, and back you go. There you go folks, you might just start off with six or eight of those. Al struggled with ten and he's fit. Al, no rest, we're gonna do some close grip chins. All right, these are for your biceps, your back, your whole upper body, we're trying to do exercises involve more than just one body part. So 10 chins, go Al. Now you see, he's got them down pat, folks. Full range of motion, stretch at the bottom, slight pause at the bottom, just stop at the bottom, Al, just so you can see everything stretch, and up you go again. That little pause will make a big difference, because you can't swing. Takes all the cheating out of it. Eight, two to go. Nine, one to go. And 10. The good thing, with this kind of training is it's gonna shock your muscles. So when you haven't done this sort of thing before, try some of these whole body exercises like clean and press, like jackknife, because they really get your body going, really get your metabolism firing, and that's what it's all about. Okay, folks, we're gonna go with our fifth and final round. Probably not something you expect, because we're gonna do calves and forearms together. Little body parts, they don't make you blow, but what if you train them non-stop with no rest, and you're taking blood from one end of the body all the way down to the other? Al's rolled his pants up, so let's finish off with these. Right, Al. 10 reps. So even with a set like this, he still pauses at the top to flex his calf. Up they come, up they come. Right, reverse curls. I want you to wrap your thumbs around the false grip and stop at the top and flex. Stop. Two seconds at the top. Stop, one second at the bottom. Now, see you're starting to lean back. We don't want that. You've actually got to lean forward a little bit there, Al. Otherwise, you lower back and everything else starts to do the work. We want to isolate the forearms. Two seconds at the top, one second at the bottom. Bring them up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. That's better, that's better. We've got to do 10. Great, let's go, 15 reps. You have to stop each time, you have to stop each time. Three. You've got five to go, Al, come on, five to go. Two, 13, come right up. 14, last one, 15, spin around, grab that bar, let's go again. 15 reps, two seconds at the top, one second at the bottom. Now your calves and forearms are starting to scream at this folk, this stage, folks. You've got blood running all over your body, it doesn't know what it's doing, but this is very good for your metabolism. It switches it on. Six. 
six, come on. Stop at the top. If you're gonna have a rest, have it at the top. Come on. What's that about, 10? You got five to go, come on Al, five to go. One, and this is it for the day, come on. Two, right up high, right up, get it up. Three, come on, two to go. Four, and last one, now hold it up there, come on. Don't be soft, hold it, hold it, hold it. Boom. It's a rotten feeling, not something we're used to in the gym, and it's all about shocking your body, folks. If you shock your body, you get results. You're gonna grow, you're gonna speed up your metabolism, most importantly, you're gonna get lean. Okay, you see Al, he's here, he's huffing and puffing like a train, his forearms are pumped, his calves are pumped, his whole body's pumped. He's had a great workout, folks. All you need really now is a bit of a tan, mate, and you're ready for summer. Try this workout, folks. It won't be easy, but it will get results. So until next week, we'll see you in the gym.